Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. Today we are going to discuss about VTU previous year question on the concept of current divider rule and voltage divider rule. Problem number one. A current of 20 amps flows through two ammeter A and B are connected in series. The potential difference across A is 0.2 volt, across B is 0.3 volt. Find how the same current will divide between A and B when they are in parallel. It is asked in Jan 2008 and Jan 2015 for 8 marks. The given question is 2 ammeter is given. First case, the two ammeters are connected in series. The current flow is the total current is 20 amps. Second case, if the same current is divided between A and B when they are connected in parallel. When they are connected in parallel, what is the current across the ammeter A and what is the current across B, ammeter B? That is current divider rule. So these are the given data. Total current is given as a 20 amps and then voltage across ammeter A is 0.2 volt, voltage across ammeter B is 0.3 volt. First two ammeter A and B are connected in series. So whenever it is connected in series, at the time we are going to find the resistance of the ammeter A and ammeter B. R suffix A it indicates that a resistance of ammeter A. R suffix B it indicates the resistance of ammeter B. So R A is equal to V A by I. So here the total current is 20 because first case both are connected in series. Whenever it is connected in series at the time the current will remain constant. So here I R is equal to V by I in general. So V A by I. V A is 0.2 and I is 20. So we will get 0.01 ohms. R B is equal to V B by I that is equal to 0.3 by 20. You will get 0.015 ohms. So now we got the resistance between the resistance for the ammeter A and ammeter B, we got the value. Now, the to whenever it is the total current through the parallel combination is 20 amps. Now, the diagram will be like this. The total current is 20 amps. Now, it is divided into two branches current that is IA and then IB whenever it is connected in parallel. So, already we are aware of that, that current divider rule. To find the current divider for the formula that is I1, I1 is equal to total current into opposite resistance divided by total resistance. So this is a formula but according to this IQ diagram we rearrange the formula that is IA is equal to I into RB. RB is the opposite resistance for ammeter A. So RB divided by total resistance. Total resistance means RA plus RB. Therefore, if you substitute the value for I, RB, RA, RB. So if I the total current, RB is 0 0.015 and then RA is 0 0.0151 plus 0 0.015. So if you substitute the value, finally you will get the value of IA. So, so far we found the current in ammeter 1, that is branch current in ammeter A we found that is 12 amps. Now we are supposed to find the current in ammeter B that is ammeter B is equal to that is current divider rule. So total current into opposite resistance because now we are concentrating on the ammeter B. So opposite resistance for the ammeter B is this value. So that value is 0.3. So, so RB is equal to this sorry that is 0 0.01 RA is 0 0.01 so 20 into 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.01 plus 0 0.015 so finally we are getting the IB IB is equal to 8 amps now we have to find we have to cross check whether our answer is correct or not because we got some value of 12 amps and then as well as 8 amps so how to find the current answer is correct or not? Already we are aware of that current uh, Kirchhoff's current rule. Kirchhoff's current, Kirchhoff's current lie. What it states: the input current is equal to the output current. So the input current is 20 amps and output current is IA and then IB. So I is equal to IA plus IB. So 12 plus 8 will get 20. That's so. 
it obeys the Kirchhoff's current law. I A I is equal to I A plus I B. Next, we are entering problem two. In this problem two, the question is: a circuit consists of two parallel resistors having a resistance of 20 ohms and 30 ohms respectively, connected in series with 15 ohm resistor. If the current through 15 ohm resistor is 3 amps, find question number 1 current in 20 ohms and 30 ohms resistor. Question number 2 voltage across the whole circuit and question number 3 total power consumed in all resistor. They asked in December 2015, Jan 2016, December 2014, Jan 2015 for 6 marks. So, this is a given question. They didn't give the circuit diagram in the question. So, from the question, we have to frame the circuit diagram. So, according to this question, we have framed the circuit diagram because 15 ohms resistor is connected in series and 20 ohms and 30 ohms are connected in parallel. So, here the current value is not given here. The current value is given, or yeah, the current value is given as a 3 amps. So, the input current is 3 amps. We are supposed to find the current at 20 ohms, 30 ohms, and voltage across the whole circuit, and then power consumed in the all resistors. That is our ultimate aim. So, according to the question, first we are supposed to find the current in 20 ohms and 30 ohms. So, current in 20 ohm resistor. Already we know that current divider rule. I am considering this current as a I1, this current as I2, this is your total current and then R1, R2. So, I1 is equal to total current into opposite resistance. For this opposite resistance is R2. Then total resistance R1 plus R2. Next, so if you substitute the value, you will get I1 is equal to 1.8 amps. So, here if we found any two datas because here i value is known i1 is known so we can easily find that i because kirchhoff's current law what it states i is equal to i1 plus i2 so here we know i1 and then we know i value so easily we can find the i2 that is one method or else you can go for this formula method i2 is equal to i into r1 divided by r1 plus r2 if you substitute the value you will get I2 is equal to 1.2 ampere. The question number 2, that is subdivision question, voltage across the whole circuit. We are supposed to find the voltage across the whole circuit. Voltage in a parallel circuit will remain constant. So, but here it is a combination of series and parallel combination. So, whatever the voltage across this 30 ohms resistor, the same voltage will present across the 20 ohms. But here it is different because this two are connected in series. But this R1 and R2 are connected in parallel. Already we are aware of that. In a parallel circuit, the voltage will remain constant. In a series circuit, the current will remain constant. So, we have to find the whole circuit voltage. So, V, total voltage is equal to R1, sorry, I1 into R2, R1, I1, R1 because formula V is equal to IR according to Ohm's law. V is equal to IR according to Ohm's law. So, V is equal to I1, R1 plus I into R. Okay. So, if you substitute the value here, you will get V is equal to 81 volt. This is the method. First, we are considering the R1 and I1. Now, similarly, we if you consider the I2 and R2, that is the, here it is given. If you, first we consider this one, this I1, R1. Now, we are going to consider this because this two are connected in parallel. If it is parallel secured, the voltage will remain constant. So, for cross-checking, we are doing this. So, V is equal to I2 into R2 plus I into R, I into R. So, we will get, substitute the value. Here also, we are getting the same value, that is 81 volt. Here also, we are getting the same value, that is 81 volt. Whenever you are considering the I1, R1, at the time also same, I2, R2, at the time also, we are getting the same value. Now, the third question is, you have to find the power. Power is equal to V into I. 
product of voltage and current. Other